got a clapperboard somewhere. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Uh, this week's topic is on the toolbox safety meeting. I know roll eyes. I've been on job sites all over the Southeast and some companies do it and some companies don't. And, uh, when a company says, okay, safety meeting every morning at seven o'clock, you see people dragging in bleary eyed. Some of them look like they're hung over. Some of them look like they're still asleep. And uh, it, it makes me think that if they're walking into the safety meeting like that, how are they walking onto the job site? Well, that gives us an opportunity, these safety meetings, to take a look at our coworkers and see how they're doing, if they've got any issues that we need to address and make sure that they're safe. But a toolbox safety meeting, also known as a toolbox talk or safety huddle, is a short informal meeting held at the beginning of a work shift on a construction job site. The purpose of these meetings is to discuss specific safety topics, address potential hazards, and reinforce safe work practices among the construction crew. These meetings typically last for a few minutes and are conducted regularly, often daily or weekly, depending on the nature of the work. Here are some key elements of a toolbox safety meeting. And it may include a safety topic. Each meeting focuses on a specific safety topic relevant to the task being performed or potential hazards on the job sites. Topics can range from proper use of personal protective equipment to the safe operation of a specific tool or equipment. And then there's a the discussion. The meeting involves a discussion among the team members about the chosen safety topic. Now this can conclude sharing experiences, addressing concerns, and clarifying any questions related to the safety practices. And sometimes, if applicable, there's a demonstration. A brief demonstration of proper techniques or procedures may be provided to ensure that everyone understands how to perform tasks safely. And then there's a review of incidents. If there was an incident a day before or a week ago and the, and the investigation is concluded, the team may review any recent incidences or near misses to learn from them and prevent similar occurrences in the future. And then we talk about emergency procedures. Toolbox safety meetings often include a review of emergency procedures such as evacuation routes, first aid locations, and communication protocols in case of accidents. And then the open forum section. Now, this is the part I really like where the guys get together and they have their air their questions and concerns or just their opinions. But the open forum is providing an opportunity for workers to raise any safety questions or observations they may have encountered on the job sites. Now, the importance of toolbox safety meetings on a construction job site can be summarized as follows. Risk mitigation. By addressing specific safety concerns and potential hazard hazards regularly, Toolbox safety meetings help mitigate risk and reduce the likelihood of accidents or injuries. Communications. These meetings facilitate open communication among team members, fostering a culture of safety where workers feel comfortable discussing safety issues and sharing their experiences. Education. Toolbox safety meetings provide a platform for ongoing education about safety practices ensuring that all team members are aware of and understand the latest safety guidelines and procedures. And there's team building. Regular safety meetings contribute to a team building by emphasizing the collective responsibility of all workers for creating and maintaining a safe work environment. And regulatory compliance. 
Inducting toolbox safety meetings help construction companies and workers comply with regulatory requirements and industry standards related to occupational health and safety. Overall, toolbox safety meetings play a crucial role in promoting a safe and healthy work environment on construction job sites, contributing to the well-being of the workers and the overall success of the project. Guys, keep this stuff in mind. These safety meetings, I know, roll eyes, but uh, these these can be important meetings. It's it's how you present them, how the engagement goes. If you're in if you're in charge of leading one of these meetings, are you engaging your your team members in in the process? Uh, you know, a lot of times when I'm on a project, I, I'll be the day before I'm coming up with a safety topic. And one of the guys will wander in and I'll say, uh, hey, what do you think about uh, this for a safety topic? Or what do you have it for any ideas on a safety topic? And, and that way you're, you're, you're talking about things that are the guys in the field uh, see that are important. Anyway, uh, take this into account and you can use this and use this video to have your own safety meeting about what the importance of toolbox safety topic meetings are. Uh, and uh, just make sure that you do the documentation process, have a sign-in sheet, reference where you saw this video, and then have everybody who's there go ahead and sign their name showing that they, they participated in watching this video in the remainder of the safety meeting. Anyway, that's it for this week. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe, and, and please leave comments. And if you've got a particular safety um safety item you'd like to see me address put it in the comments send me a, a message some you know send me a message and and we'll get that done for you well that's it for the day everybody have a grateful day and i'll see you next time